Frustrated family members want a new judge and a new prosecutor in hopes of finally putting a four year old tragedy behind them. Yeah, four years. That's how long it's been since a speeding state trooper who was not answering a call crashed into a car full of teenagers that turned into his path. Well, Fox 5 by team reporter Randy Travis says the latest delay in this Carroll County case has made the pain even more difficult for those who survive. Randy? That's right, Russ and Portia. Yeah, two boys, two girls, four friends heading to another friend's house on a rainy Saturday night. What happened next would leave two of them dead. The other two wondering years later whether justice in this case will ever be served. Georgia State Trooper A.J. Scott had no business driving 90 miles an hour that night, heading north on Highway 27 in Carroll County. The suggested speed here, 45. Why? Well, to prevent something like this. The aftermath, chaotic. I drove the driver out. I couldn't get to the passengers. Okay, okay. What happened, man? They pulled right out, making this left turn right there. And you didn't see them? I saw him. I tried to. I went right when I should have went down left. Did you have your lights and siren on? No, I wasn't. Okay. Oh, you weren't headed anywhere. Okay. All right. The crash killed the two girls, Kylie Lindsay and her best friend, Bella Chinchella. Neither was wearing a seatbelt. The boys in the front were critically injured. Driver Dylan Wall and his buddy Ben Finken would spend days at Grady Memorial and eventually recover, although with little memory of the accident itself. The scars four years later are both obvious and haunting. Just thinking about the girls, dreaming about them, thinking about them all the time. Four years should be plenty of time for justice, for healing, to end future accidents, and actually change this intersection. You can't make a left here anymore. So why can't the justice system finally bring this case to an end? The state patrol would quickly fire Scott, the state of Georgia settling with the victims. One million dollars to each of the girls' families, half a million to each of the boys. The money going to cover their medical bills. But they all wanted that now ex-trooper to face criminal charges. After years of delays, Scott would finally stand trial this year. Right, this time we're going to make a motion. But what happened next would bring peace to no one. I was devastated. We were all devastated. While the jury deliberated, Chief Superior Court Judge John Simpson ordered a mistrial. He was furious that the state had not shared with the defense an alternative theory. At one point, state patrol investigators suggested Kylie could have been leaning or sitting in the front seat and thus blocked Dylan Wall's view of the speeding state trooper. Do you have any memory of Kylie being in the front seat? No, but there would be no, re that's just bullcrap. <laughs> Bull crap. Yeah, it's bull crap. That's so stupid. I mean, why would she be sitting up on top of the center console when there's a whole row of seats in the back she could have been sitting in, which she was. Why did you pull in front of someone? I didn't. Pulled in front of a bullet. I mean, I didn't see him. I pulled, I guess. He was going over the hill going 90. Judge Simpson would go on to file criminal contempt charges against the prosecutors, accusing them of lying to the defense. Carroll County DA Herb Cranford responded with a motion to remove Simpson as trial judge, fearing bias against prosecutors. The case is now tied up in the appellate courts. There's no new trial date. In court, prosecutors explained they never shared the alternative theory with the defense because it was quickly discounted after reviewing the facts. Shame on them. It should have been. We should have known that someone brought a theory that my daughter may have been setting up front because we could have looked at that and looked into it and put a stop to it because she wasn't. The families filed their own motion asking the attorney general to appoint a new prosecutor, a request that was denied. But they all say they want a new judge too, if it means getting the case back to a courtroom sooner. I don't understand why we're we're having to fight this so hard. The facts are the facts. He was going 90 miles an hour. Dylan must now deal with the defense strategy presented at the trial, questioning whether the four teenagers had been drinking or driving recklessly themselves. Defense attorney Mac Pilgrim ended his cross-examination of Wall by saying he could be excused or, quote, go to what party he wants to go to. Blood tests show Dylan Wall had no alcohol in his system, no evidence he was drinking. They literally have tried to make everyone believe that I have been, and it, they have facts. I want people to know that it wasn't true. 
because they're trying to make me look terrible. Like I is on the cause of the girl's death. After the accident, Scott won a seat on the Buchanan City Council. The retired Marine who once saw action in Fallujah is now running for mayor. He did not offer any apology or take responsibility for the accident when he testified in the trial. We offered him a misdemeanor and to sit down and apologize and he refused. And here we are four years later and he's still denying the fact that he was going 90 miles an hour and he caused this accident. He blames Dylan. He blames Dylan for making that turn and he blames Dylan and thinks that Dylan ruined his life. He, caused, he lost his job because those kids were out that night and made that turn. Well, defense attorney Pilgrim tells me he's waiting for the, quote, legal squabble between judge and DA to finish up. If the case is set for trial again, he plans to file a motion for double jeopardy and get the case dismissed. He still believes the kids themselves are to blame for the accident. And four years later, his client, he says, is a victim as well. So Dylan turned in front of a man who was going 90 miles an hour. In front of a bullet, he said, yes. Right. Four years is a long time, Wendy. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.